In this example, we're given the functions f of x equals 3x minus 2 and g of x equals root x, and we're asked to find the composite functions f of g of 9 and g of f of 9. To find f of g of 9, we first find g of 9. Since g of x equals root x, we can find g of 9 by substituting a 9 in for the x in the function to get g of 9 equals root 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, so g of 9 equals 3. Now, since g of 9 equals 3, f of g of 9 is the same thing as f of 3, so our next step is to find f of 3. And remember that f of x equals 3x minus 2. So to find f of 3, we substitute a 3 in for the x in the function, and we have f of 3 equals 3 times 3 minus 2. Finally, 3 times 3 minus 2 simplifies to 9 minus 2, or 7. So f of 3 equals 7. Therefore, f of g of 9 equals 7. Next, to find g of f of 9, we first find f of 9. Since f of x equals 3x minus 2, we find f of 9 by substituting a 9 in for the x in the function to get f of 9 equals 3 times 9 minus 2, which simplifies to 27 minus 2, or 25. So f of 9 equals 25. Now, since f of 9 equals 25, g of f of 9 is the same thing as g of 25. So our next step is to find g of 25. And remember that g of x equals root x. So to find g of 25, we substitute a 25 in for the x in the function to get g of 25 equals root 25. Finally, the square root of 25 is 5, so g of 25 equals 5. Therefore, g of f of 9 equals 5. It's important to recognize that the value of g of f of 9, which is 5, is different from the value of f of g of 9, which is 7.